Hello and welcome to episode 11 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. As we can see there in the picture, Kareem Diakra looking pensive, yet we're without a win in three games, Claremont Foot now in 8th place. The last episode, that was a real down point, two losses in a row. It's the first time we've had that this series and it's seen us drop well off the pace. Despite still having the top goal scorer, yet yeah, we're going to have to uh, not slip up anymore, to put it very basically. But thanks for a lot of your really positive comments on the last episode. It's what I need. We just can't afford any more slip-ups. Let's take a quick look at the standings. So we're 10 points off Ajaccio. I think we still have to play. I think we've got a head-to-head -head with Ajaccio. I'm not sure about Nancy Lorraine. Let's go and have a little look. So we do play Ajaccio again. Uh, we don't play Nancy Lorraine again, though. We've played them twice. And uh, yeah, I think there's a few teams in the running as well who we're going to play. But yeah, the big one is going to be Ajaccio right at the end of the season. Hopefully we can get ourselves in a position where that actually means something. So what we do have in this episode is the excitement, is that we are going to be experiencing the joys, the excitement, the thrills of Transfer Deadline Day! <laughs> haven't heard of that in a while. Um, but we need to go and look at the transfers now. So the call went out to the patrons, those of you kind enough to donate to this channel on Patreon. And uh, the, the decision was going to be between these three attacking midfield prospects. Uh, Pasetto, Billy, that's his first name, or Charbonnier. And the vote was pretty conclusive. 77% of the patrons decided that Pasetto is the one for us. Uh, we're also going to have to bring in Alcibiadi. Uh, and then it's going to be Fojo and I think probably Ndai going out. Pretty sure we can't sell any more players. I think we're going to be maxed out in player sales. Uh, we're going to get this one down, done now anyway. So we'll start with Fojo. He's off. It's not going to be a huge miss really, is it? He's not been great. That gives us 7.7. .7. And uh, now what we can do is go and bring in... Alcibiadi, and that is a cool 1.4 million. That's that's really easy. That's an easy decision to make. He's a great crosser of the ball as well. He's going to add something out on that right-hand side. 80 lofted passing makes him the best lofted passer, and he's quick as well. Yeah, he's not really defensively very strong, but hey, he's going to provide an attacking threat that Fojo couldn't. Now, I get the feeling that we're probably maxed out on transfers, so we're not going to be able to make this, I don't think, before the next game... Can we sell in diet? No, we've we've hit the minimum squad size. A lot of you have mentioned that you find it odd that I let the squads get so small. Yeah, it's not very realistic, and it's the one sort of unrealistic thing I will allow myself. But it's the only way to sign good players. Think how many players... If we tried to keep a full squad of reserves and first team and all the subs, we wouldn't have any... We would never have had any money. So uh, I'm, that's one thing I'm willing to allow. So there we go. Well, it's going to be Alcibiadi coming in and Fojo going out. And then hopefully we've got enough salary left after selling in Dai to sign Pesetto uh, before or on transfer deadline day. So let's keep moving. So in comes David Alcibiadi. Excellent. It's a straight swap for Fojo, but it has freed up a considerable amount of money for us. And uh, I think now if we go in and sell in Dai, that's 850,000. That gives us just about enough, I believe. 7.1 million to go in and sign Bassetto. But we don't have enough salary. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. I actually had a little tip in the comments on the last episode from my good friend Shogun FC. If you haven't already checked out his channel, then definitely go and check that out. Um, he suggested we do a madness with the uh, with the annual salaries. Now, I'm, I'm not exactly down with the kids, but I believe do a madness basically means, you know, mix it up, try some stuff. And we're going to have to here because we need to get his salary down to 673. Can't sell any more players, so we can't free up in any salary. So to go down to uh, yeah, 658, that takes us to 58% chance of signing. But we want to see goals from attacking midfield, so we can definitely max out the goal bonus. You can quite happily have three three grand for every goal you get per setto. Uh, now appearance bonus, I guess win bonus would be better. So we'll max out the win bonus as well. We're now into a high chance of succeeding with the player. I don't think we can risk that though. Uh, so we can push that up to 90. We'll give him an appearance bonus of uh, 1,000 euros. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. So, uh, yeah. Let's let's do that. So we're going to have him negotiate. So it means we're not going to have him for today's game. We never were for today's game. But hopefully we can get that done by transfer deadline day. And there goes Fojo. There's his final press conference. He looks a little bit strong out there. He's had a, he's had a long night. He looks pretty crazy. Okay. So with that out of the way, we have the business. It's business time. Let's get our business hats on. Our shirts, our ties. Let's get the briefcase because this is time for business. Big business. Up against Arvo, who are in 10th place at the moment. Let's take a look at their side. Lots of 60s in the midfield. 
I mean, that's not made any difference recently. We've been battered by a variety of different strength teams. So, uh, hmm. Going to be interesting. Alcibiadi. Big Dave gets his first start. Hopefully we can get him putting some crosses in for Dory. Because that should work out nicely. Other than that, everyone's looking good. Dory on a blue arrow. That's what we need. We need goals. We need to start here strongly. Away from home has been a huge, huge struggle. But what we just don't want to do today is drop any more points. A win would obviously be a huge bonus. But for now, we just need to get points back on the board. Let's go. Now, a few of you in the comments have mentioned, and rightly so, that I need to be a bit more chill. Sometimes I bring the defenders out too easily. Uh, I get a bit excited. Yeah, that happens, especially when you're in a bad, bad run of form. And that's quite a nice mirror of real football. A real test, there's David there, Alcibiade. A real test of a good player or a good manager is not to, uh, not to buckle under pressure, not to try and force things when things aren't going right. That's what I did in the last episode. That's what I need to not do now. I think we'll be okay. Just need to take a breath, pass the ball around, believe in the quality that we've got in this side, and hopefully just get at least a point here on the road. Something we can build on. Let's go. So I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, again, and I've mentioned this before, but I am feeling actually genuinely nervous now. I know that Kareem Diakra's job is in the balance at the moment. And any mistakes that we make could, uh, well, they could directly contribute to her losing her job. And Cham comes across. Koulibaly steps inside. Danger here. Oh, you've, you've got to be kidding me. Straight off the mark. Three minutes and it's a mass away maroon goal. All I was doing there was talking about how he needs to be so much better. I had that, I didn't even believe that there. It all stopped. I thought it was offside. I mean, what are you doing there, Masawema? That's not the start we needed. Oh, uh, you've got to laugh. Else you cry. Dooling now. Looking to force the issue. Back to Olivier and Cham. Now Wellington Nem. Looking for runners. Sees the run of Encham. Will he get his first goal here? Yes! <laughs> Olivier and Chin. Finally. Finally. And what an exciting six minutes this has been <laughs> at the start of this game. And Cham, well, he has been looking for a goal all season. He's got to have had the most shots and the least goals so far. And in my excitement, I accidentally cancelled the replay. So we're going to get to see it again in its full glory here. Nothing too special. Wellington Nem saw the ongoing run from uh, Encham. That's actually a really well-placed ball. Perfect pace on it. The finish, well, it's typical in Cham. It's not a particularly good one. It gets a nasty deflection. I think it probably was going in anyway. But there we are. Have some of that. Bonnet with the reverse ball. This is lovely play here from Havre. They're looking dangerous. One touch passing all over the place. And now Bessé finds a bit of space. Saavedra's challenge isn't a great one. Dooling jumps. Can we get the header away? Oh, my God. Oh, lovely back heel into Bonnet. Gets the shot away. Easy take for Bernardoni. There's danger signs again as the first half nearly draws to a close. Dory will jump, wins it really well. Dooling out to Asibiadi. Steps inside. Great play here from the new right back. He's taken out. Nope, nothing, nothing wrong with that, says the ref. Nice ball down the line. Zerhat with Saavedra for company. Still, they move it around. That's a great ball into Bessé. Fontaine comes out. He's given the foul away. Get back in position. Going to take his time, and they're going to whip a ball into the box here. This will be the last moments of this first half as Bonnet is over this one. Arvra, to be honest, probably deserve a goal. And Cham gets back with a good header. And that is going to go to touch. And that will be the end of the first half here in Arvra. And my word, has this been tricky. 65% possession we've had. We've barely had a shot on target. Only the goal from Olivier and Cham, uh, which was a sweet, sweet moment. But really, we gave away the first goal just ridiculously. So we were even... And then after that, we've had nothing. Look at that, 28 passes made. They've had over three times as many passes as us. They are dominating here. If we're going to get anything, it's going to be on the break and it's going to be nicking a goal. So Karin Diakra will have said to the side, just keep it tight. Keep it tight. There could be a goal in this, but um, it's not obvious. Here comes Alcibiadi. Looks pretty good in the first half. Ball into Olivier and Cham. Turns away from Fontaine. That's nice. Now on a wrap. Back to Olivier and Cham. Gets it out of his feet. Hits it well. Side netting. Well, that was a much more positive start to the half. Olivier and Cham is obviously looking confident now after his first goal in Ligue 2 this season. Got it back from Honorat. I think he needed to look for another, another Claremont player. But still, good start. Better, much better. Oh, Nem. I thought he had that. Tell you what, this is... Absolutely, this is mentally tiring here. They are passing it around like Barcelona at the moment. We cannot get a sniff. 
That in Cham's chance at the beginning is seeming like an even bigger miss. Alcibiade goes long into Dooling. Keeper's going to get to that one. But Alcibiade, you know he's got those passes in him. If we can unleash someone with one of them, then that could be one of our best ways into this game. Oh, good tracking back from Incham, but somehow he came away with it. Alcibiade misses his tackle. Zagadou made a meal of that. Dembele still has it. Koulibaly now. Ball into Dembele. This is dangerous here. Great save by Bernardoni. Oh, my God. This is... Honestly, I feel like I've done a, a mental marathon in this game. Alvaro just passing it around so fluidly. We can't get close to them. Don't know if that was going in, but Bernardoni at full stretch. Had to push it wide. Couldn't take the risk. Saavedra now in a bit of space. Back to Masawema. Keeps it moving. Dory into Incham. Back out to Saavedra. Back onto his right foot. Edge of the box into Nem, who takes it down well. Went into Nem with the right foot. Oh, big chance there for Clermont. Probably our best in this second half. 88 minutes gone. Can we avoid a horrible, horrible sucker punch of a goal here? Arvara looked best all throughout this game. Decent ball in, and Cham deals with it. And now we could have one more chance. Saavedra brings it forward. No, that's going to be it here. Oh, we needed the three points. We had chances in that second half. But Arvara were all over us. We did really well there. We went a whole game without anything happening. But we will take the point. That's fine. It's not ideal. There's still plenty of games left. Yeah, we came back into it. In the end, actually, we had more shots on target. It felt like an absolute battering all the way through. But and Chan gets his goal, and that's that's good, as he probably is about to get moved further back on the pitch. But other than that, Arvara were insane. I mean, look at that. They made almost double the passes we did. It was like it was like the French Barcelona. It was crazy, crazy stuff. But the point, well, we'll take it. And now Ajaccio, they're 12 points ahead now. That was always going to happen. Christmas has definitely not bought us any presents. Five matches, one win in five. Two draws, two losses. The home loss to Rouen in the last episode, that was, that was the real killer. That was where we really messed up. The shooting has also been poor. If you look at that, no one over 50%. Only Masawema at 15. He's only had two shots, so one of them went in. Dory's been strong in the air, as usual. Zagadou and Dooling making the tackles, but no sign of Fontaine in there. There's still so much for us to do. This is just going to be so hard. Haven't heard back from Pasetto yet. Fingers crossed, everyone. Transfer up. Yes, update and transfer negotiations. Lovely stuff. Oh, and who's this who's just pulled up? Interesting. We haven't heard from him in a while. Oh, Corrine, how's he going? Oh, you been, uh, you been after that Pasetto? He's a lovely little player. Lovely. Uh, do you want me to talk with his agent? You know, I can. I ain't got much to do now. Uh, I could have a little chat, maybe a little backhander. What do you reckon? No, no. All right, all right. Fair enough, Kareen. Anything else I can do for you before I, uh, before I get off? No, no. All right, all right. Nice. Oh, Harry Redknapp. We haven't heard from him in a long, long time. Now let's go and sign Pasetto, shall we? Yep, it's gone through. We're going to be paying him <laughs> a thousand euros a game, which isn't really that much, I suppose, when you add it up. And uh, 3,000 euros a goal. Well, if he can score us, I don't care how much it costs us. He can get us some goals, and that's all that matters. So, yeah, there we go. Pasetto comes in. <laughs> that has absolutely cleared out the bank balance. Let's go and have a look and see how he sort of slots into this side. It's going to be interesting. We're going to have to do a little bit of moving around, but I've got a little bit of an idea about how this could work. Hopefully it doesn't affect the team spirit too much. Now, Fontaine has maybe been an issue. Dulin is a good centre-back. He's a higher-rated centre-back than Fontaine by five, and we also know that he's quicker. He's just a generally better player. So, uh, if we put in Cham at central midfield, which is where he's the better player, down to 71 here. And then we bring in Pasetto there, 73, okay. What about as an attacking mid? 73 still, but that's much better, much, much better. We'll stick with the uh, the formation as it is, on a rat bombing forward, trying to get in there as a centre forward. Uh, that should do all right. Maybe we'll pull Pasetto slightly wider. We could have him knock into the... No, we don't want... That's too much, that's too much. In possession, but we'll have Pasetto pull out a little bit wider there. In possession, we want in Cham bombing forward. Out of possession, back in there. Yeah, that looks fine. So there we go. That's the new look side. And Pasetto, let's take another look at him. 23 year old Argentinian coming in from the Argentinian league. That's some great steps, great scouting by the Claremont Foot Scouts. Almost completely unheard of player, but he's a good finisher. Great in the air. He's quick. The strength on the ball as well, the physical contact. That's going to work for us. Great ball control, great dribbling, good passer as well, which we need. 
77 attacking prowess is good. He's got good stamina. Excellent weak foot use and accuracy. Uh, good form as well. Sixth form. Acrobatic finishing. Amazing run, speeding bullet, and incisive run from that attacking midfield position. Should be really, really exciting. So, uh, yeah. Very keen to get going with him. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do anything. Let's just see if anyone is interested in Honorat. If they are, mm, we could have some bids in. Don't really have anyone lined up. The only player, obviously, we'd like to get in would be uh, old Billy here. Billy Ketka. Uh, unfortunately, we can't trade on or out for him. We can't. don't seem to be able to change this. don't think we're going to get any money off. Unless somehow we get offered six million for Frank on or out. I don't think that's going to happen. If he did, that'd be great because he's a proper right winger. Great pass, so he's quick as well. Um, I think he'd be really good. So we'll, we'll just keep progressing here. See if anything comes back, but I doubt it will. Oh, look at that. Ozil to PSG. That's interesting. Um, Frank Honorat not going anywhere. Apparently, we've categorically denied the rumours that Frank Honorat will be moving. Hopefully, that's just a bit of uh, game playing there because we really would like him to move. There's only five hours left in the window now. So, uh, it's looking unlikely at this point. Still, we deny the talk. Four hours left. Anything happening here? Maybe we do need Harry Redknapp's help just to get this Honorat deal over the line. Hopefully, for 6.1 million, and then we can sign a. Uh, Old Billy, but it doesn't look to be happening. Two hours left now, and still the Honorat Croats come out. He's a busy man this evening. He's having to uh, deny a lot of stuff to various news outlets. With only two hours left in the transfer window, it doesn't look like it's happening. Looks like we're going to be keeping hold of Big Frank till the end of the season, at least. So there we have it. No bids for Honorat. Well, that's a shame. That is a shame, but hey, we'll keep him. I don't know if we would have really had to do much better. I don't think we would have had enough money for Ke Ke Fia for money for Moan. So, uh, hey, but we've got Pesetto, and hopefully now he's going to turn our season around, but now we're 12 points off second place. Uh, I can't see it happening. Obviously, we need to try and get to within nine points, and then we play a Jacchio later on, so oh, it's just not going to happen, is it? It's really, really hard to be positive at this point. Uh, but all we can do is win our first away game of the season in this matchup. So let's have a look and see how everyone's doing. Do lean on a downward arrow. Not a good start. <laughs> that's, that's not what we needed. Uh, I think we'll bring Fontaine back in then. I don't know about Doolin on a downward arrow. Everyone else is looking quite tired as well. Not long since the last game. Pacetta, right-footed, dribbler. Let's get him involved. Let's get him on the ball early on and let's get some goals. Come on then. I I'm, I'm totally just going to give up saying every game is a must-win now because that is pretty clear. But we've got to be excited about a new signing, an exciting new signing playing in this game. Uh, this is the sort of stuff that I live for in Master League. And there he is, Pacetta. Fairly unknown, but some uh, pretty extensive scouting of South America has gone down this season from the Claremont Foot Scouts. And they've uh, they picked this guy out as being a real, real one for the future, but also one that can hopefully slot in straight away and score us some goals. So, uh, yeah, can he announce himself in a positive and exciting fashion? Well, I hope so. We need him to badly. Strong start again by the home team. Passing it around really nicely. Good ball into Hadji. Pacetto's there tracking back. Fontaine with the header. That's uh, not the best one ever, but we get it away at least. And now Wellington then. He's got Dory to look for down the line. He chips the ball over the top to the big centre forward. He will get there. Can he keep it in? He can. Back to Wellington then now. Sees the on-running Saavedra. <sighs> Poor touch there from Saavedra. That's no good at all. Masawema. Strong. Somehow Badilla gets away with that. Under pressure from the big man in the centre. It's first half nearly over and we're still really struggling to work anything here. That's a nice bounce. And Sham, good pass. Oh, lovely back heel from Dorian to Honorat. Can he might time the pass correctly here? He can into Frank Dor Into Frank Dory? Who the hell's Frank Dory? Has to go wide. Back to Wellington Nem. Ball into Honorat. He'll turn. Hits it with the left. Decent effort there. Pasetto there sniffing for the rebound. Couldn't get to it. And that's half time here in Nancy or Lorraine. I guess we're not in Lorraine. It must be Nancy. And it's nil nil still. Well, at least we're still in this one. Again, they're just having so much possession. I don't know what it is about these home sides. But they just are able to just ping the ball around. Claremont chasing shadows. We're tired as it is. We've had a shot. We've had some decent chances. Bassetto yet to really get involved. Hopefully we can see more from him in the second half. Comes Bart. To Hadji. Oh, Pasetto won it well, but then he's lost out. Caught in possession. Wellington then wins it back. Still not cleared. Oh my god, oh my god, get it away. What the hell? I thought I had that. 
No, no, no. Oh. Oh no, no. We've given that was just awful. I thought we had the ball. I thought and Chan was running away with it. Suddenly he didn't have it. And this is gonna be a goal, isn't it? Had you over this one over the wall. Oh. Off the wall. Oh dearie me. Corner to be whipped in with the left foot of Marchetti. Bernardoni comes for it. Strong punch from him. Alcibiadi won't get to it. He's kept alive here. Bar, ball into the box. Oh, he turns. Oh, my God. Nice ball from Cham out to Alcibiadi and takes it on the run. He'll slip it down the line into Honorat. This is much better. Honorat goes inside to Dory. Turns away from his man. Ferrobori Dory with the low finish. Oh, come on. Come on. 70 minutes in the away side. Take the advantage here. And it was a side-like counter-attack from Claremont Foot that we haven't seen in a while. Good ball from Asabiadi down the line into Honorat. He went early. But this is a nice touch, this. Oh, ho, ho. completely unnecessary. But the finish, very, very necessary. Finally, we're up here. Can we hold on to this one? Long throw down the line. Asabiadi gets a header to it. Asawema keeps it moving into Pesetto. He's barely had a touch. He's going to look to run at this defence, though. Everyone's standing off him. Still Pesetto. Turns inside. No, too much, too much. We've given the ball away in a dangerous position. There's a runner down this left-hand side that we need to be tracking. Oh, Pesetto. Well, it's going to take him a while to adapt to the league and to the team instructions. We don't want to be giving the ball away at this point in the game. Oh, mistake there, though, as Honorat picks it up. Back to Masawema. Out to Pesetto now. Again, still looks confident to run at this team. Turns back inside of Bar. Ship ball into Dory. Back out to Wellington Nem. He'll put a cross in. No one's there. Ooh. Whoa, nearly fell. Good play by Robic. Nice. And now Badilla into the box. Zagadu. Great challenge. Asibiadi loses it though. How did that happen? No, Bernardoni. Great save there. We just need to slow this down. With only five minutes left, he'll take his time. Didn't mean to kick that. Cham really needed to win that. Pesetto into Honorat. Lays it off into Dory. Oh, I couldn't quite get it back. Two minutes left here. Away from home. Are we on the verge of a massive away win? Something that we've needed in a long, long time, but never more so than now. After some really poor performances. Looks like Nancy Lorraine are going to have one more chance here. Ball into the box. Far post. It's unmarked. Alcibiadi. Did he get a touch to that? It's gone behind, I think. What is it going to be? Oh, it's a, it's a goal kick. Thank fuck for that. We just need to keep possession here. 30 seconds left in this one. Run it into the corner, Alcibiadi. Yes! Come on! Well, it wasn't pretty. It was not pretty, but it took Ferrobori Dory finally back in the goals with a good finish to win this one. Oh, dearie me. I've just, I'm so stressed. I think I might be shaking. I think I might be shaking. This is taking years off my life now. The, uh, the threat hanging over my head. Green Diacra getting fired, which seems very, very real still. Is, uh, is enough to make me very scared. Pesetto, tricky debut. A 5.5. Couldn't really do anything. Struggled. Really struggled to get involved. So uh, that's a little worrying, but the win is huge. There are games left to do this, but my word, we cannot afford to drop many points. Goal difference is okay. If we can catch Nancy Lorraine, then uh, our goal difference by that point will probably be pretty good. It's whether we can catch them or not. We're sixth now. I mean, that's seen us jump up a few places, but... God, this is going to be hard. So there we have it. And only three days later, we've got another home game against Chamis Notoire in the next episode. And that's going to be another massive one. Absolutely huge game. Uh, I guess that Masawema own goal at the beginning is the only thing that's kept us from getting two wins in a row, which would have really, really helped our chances. But hey, one win, four points in two out of two games. That'll do as the start of the comeback. I'll see you in a bit.